Have you ever been on eBay and you saw some random shit that you shouldn't be buying? Well, I think I just did that. Logitech Driving Force Pro Force Feedback Wheel. Uh, it's about a 15 year old wheel. This guy on eBay is selling it for about $104 US. Looks like it's in pretty good condition and he has the original box. And I've been thinking, I was like, what if I start using some old school wheels, you know, go back a couple generations and use the PlayStation 2 wheels on the actual PlayStation 2. The original post right there. And it looks in pretty good shape, man. Look at that. Not bad at all. Everything's in the box. 15 years old, mind you. Six and a half hours later. We got it, man. I sped up time. Oh my God, the peanuts, man. He put peanuts in this box. We got just random. How do you know I had a baby, man? Look at that, Pampers. Get that shit out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing straight out of here. Boom, here we go, man. A 15 year old wheel in its original box. I don't think I can say I've seen a lot of these around. There's only a couple guys on eBay actually selling this. Gran Turismo 4 compatible with, obviously we have the big old GT logo right on here. 900 degrees of rotation. Corners aren't even really that badly dinged. Does show it works with GT4, uh, GT3, which I do have, Burnout 3. There's a Need for Speed Underground 2 on there? God damn, man. Test Drive, Eve of Destruction, Midnight Club 3. I mean, this is a couple years before it's time, I feel like. More realism than ever before. And I feel like the games back then, they just didn't have enough uh, to really let the wheel shine, I feel like. So we're gonna test this out firsthand for today, but this is pretty cool. I just I just noticed this on this thing, man. The original sticker, $136.99. Product replacement for $20, you're gonna got the damn product replacement plan. Oh man. July 26, 2007, 10.17 a.m. Wow. That's pretty cool to have there. Subclass, we got the SKU, Logitech, and the original price of $136.99. Look at that, come on, man, that's so cool. I wanna play with it. I wanna play with it, man, look at that, jeez. Okay, we gotta get this thing out of here. All right, I'm just praying that everything does work as soon as I get it out of here. Here we go. Now, obviously, this has been already open. It's not a brand new box, mind you, but Jesus, man, it feels like it though, All right? At least the guy kept the box. Like that's that's pretty crazy as it is. Pull this out. He's... It even smells old, man. It smells terrible. Ooh. Damn. Okay. So first off, it's definitely had its day. Uh, it's been played with quite a bit, I can tell. You got some shit on here. Looks a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this up because that's gross, man. And then the pedals. Okay, so so let's have a quick look at the wheel first off here. Power supply looks pretty good. Um, no damages on the end cable there. Yeah, there you go, Finn. Get that itch. Get that itch. So let's just have a quick look and a little bit of detail at this thing here. You can probably see it's not the cleanest around here it has a couple surface scratches again it's 15 years old now this piece on the side here this kind of rubber piece it feels pretty cool it's actually all rubber uh, we do have buttons on the back kind of like a paddle shift looks like we do have little paddle shifts right here look at this oh you know what you know who owned this before me a smoker, man. Somebody smoked at this. Oh, I hate that shit, man. I can smell the cigarette smoke on this thing. It is disgusting. We have down and up. Not very much movement on this thing. Just, you know, the little damn bus meme where it's, all right. I completely forgot this morning. We had a comment from last episode's GTA video here. Dad jokes, man. I told you guys I'm looking for him. This one's coming here from Boa. What did the wave say to the other wave? Nothing. They just waved at each other, man. I'm okay, right? Uh, but everything seems to be working pretty good. My hands look gigantic on this thing, I will be honest. Stamp system on here. Um, looks interesting. So you tighten it with this here, and then that tightens the clamp, I'm assuming. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the pedals here. Pedals, again. Um, this is gonna plug right into the back of the wheel, thankfully. Traditional gas, brake, there's no clutch. Pedals seem like they actually have a decent amount of resistance on the brake. The gas doesn't really have much though, unfortunately. The brake, I'm impressed, man. For 15 years old, this has a pretty good resistance. And if you guys can see, this kind of resembles a tire track right on the pedals. Kind of cool, different, right? 
And you guys are hearing it in the background? Yeah. It's sitting there, man. It's waiting. You guys can hear the whoosh. I did have a couple other few things that I wanted to show you guys unrelated to the steering wheel. I made another purchase on eBay. Oh my God. My advice to anyone out there, shop with a friend on eBay. Otherwise, this shit happens, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna set this up. Now, I'm not gonna be able to record the screen as of yet. Uh, I am gonna be setting that up. You guys can see over there, I do have my old Elgato with the AV cable. So I wanna get that set back up again so that way I can actually start recording on this TV with the laptop and then playing with the actual wheel. So I think that's gonna be right. That's the plan for the next coming days. So uh, bear with me. I'm gonna set this up right now, make sure it all works. And then we're gonna get a proper video the next coming days. If you guys wanna see it, right? Let me know down below. Maybe I'll start grabbing some other wheels. There's a lot of funky wheels on eBay that you can buy for PlayStation 1, PS2, 360. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Something different. Get to play some new games as well. If you guys know any games that work on the PS2 with the driving force wheel, let me know down below in the comment section. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up on the desk. First things first, pedals going in right here. Make sure you put that in the right way so you don't bend those tips. Power cable going in right next to it. Oh my God, did I just break it? I think I'm good. Oh my God. So let me not put that in so hard next time, eh? Is it broken? Better not be. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, it's plugged in. So I got this stupid hump right here, man. I can't sit on this. Like, what do you want me to do? Sit on this? I mean, I guess that's doable. Bring the table up. <laughs> it works, hold on, hold on, let me show you guys. So because of the fact that I am in the middle here, I think I'm gonna put the pedals right, right in the middle, sit on this, so when I sit like this, I can put the wheel on here, and then lift up the table to put it right here, man. Okay, hold on. Hold oh my God, I'm right here, man. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these pieces that are underneath it here, they don't go on, man. Look at, like, I don't need these big blocks on here. Oh, hello. Did I fix it or break it? Okay, so these actually can come off if you need them to. Now it has way more access. You guys can see that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and throw that clamp in. When I was going through reviews of this wheel, uh, I stumbled across a review from Brian Eckberg, and I don't know if you guys know Brian Eckberg, right? Ford is a community manager. Uh, he wrote his review back in 2005. That's insane, man. 2005. Now, the wheel? Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and try this with your Gran Turismo 3 A spec. What a classic, man. Anything that I have? Oh. We're synced, man. It just calibrated itself. A 15-year-old wheel just calibrated itself. Question, though. I was born. Oh, I hate to do this, but we got to do this. So sorry. Got to turn down the music of damn Gran Turismo 3, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead here. And now, remember, uh, the quality of the gameplay is not what we're going for today. What I'm going for today is making sure that this wheel will work so that way next time I can actually go ahead and set this up properly with the Elgato and uh, making sure everything can run like that. So we're gonna go through this. We're here to test whether or not the Logitech wheel will work on the PS2. And let's see here now. Oh, it's working, man, no way. Okay, simulation mode, what? Is a simulation mode? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Jesus, man, it's been a long time, I'm so sorry. And looks like we have a bunch of rally cars, I'm down. We have a Corolla, man, no way. Oh. Okay, we're actually getting some shaking. So we have look back. Oh, this is fun. Just imagine using this though, 15 years ago and having force feedback. This is wild. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we're definitely coming back and doing an episode on this game ASAP when I have the proper recording set up here for it. I love this little arcade feel though, man. Nothing better than playing an arcade game with an arcade wheel. I mean, mind you though, we are on 900 degrees if I'm not mistaken. I will test this here in a second. See, currently I'm on 200 degrees of rotation. I can feel it. 
Maybe it's because I'm not playing GT4? I don't know if that's a thing or not. Shifter's a little weird. It's satisfying though, using this thing, man. Look at it. <laughs> that's all it is. So unfortunately, uh, 900 degrees doesn't seem like it's an option on here. I don't know if maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Miss Finn, you sleeping? Come on, it wasn't that boring, was it? Jeez, man, hopefully it wasn't for you guys. Two games that I am interested in playing though for sure uh, would be the Driver Series. Need for Speed Underground 2 is also listed on there, so that's one that I want to tackle. Uh, I think that's a burnout on there. There's a couple NASCAR games that I would like to try, but just you know, going through them all and just having fun reliving those games from back when I was a child. So let me know if you guys want to see it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button. GTA 5 should be updating again this week with some new cars. So I'm going to be putting that out. Either way, I had fun today. I'm going to go ahead, edit this video, put it up for you guys for tomorrow, and I'll be back here tomorrow with some fresh content, man. Huge thank you once again for watching.